Welcome to another declutter clean and organize with me today. We are going to start with my office declutter It's gonna take us a few weeks because it is not looking good But I'll take you around show you what we are working with and We'll see how far we're gonna get today. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get the cluttering So this is what we are working with today. You see that bookshelves on the right. That's what we're gonna be decluttering first and this is the space where the door is gonna go in. I'm gonna explain that later in the video, but I wanted to show you the before of how the office looks like. It might not seem very, you know, disorganized, but I promise you there is a lot of clutter, which you're gonna see once I start actually taking stuff off of the shelves. You and me stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up, but you just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my so the very first thing I had to do was to sort through all the books. These somehow all fit in the office in that one bookshelf. Um, I also, I think, had some on my desk, but I really wanted to go through them and get rid of anything that we truly don't love and don't use and just give it to somebody else who is gonna get some usage out of them. So I was um, thinking actually that it's gonna take me not that long to go through the books, but it took much, much longer. Um, let me know if you can relate. It's definitely something um, I have underestimated how much it's gonna take me. Um, as you can see, my daughter was helping me. She actually spent more time reading the books than sorting through them, but I did ask them from time to time, you know, if she wants to keep it or donate that or give it to one of her cousins who are younger. So she did help me with that. And then I kind of put another pile on the side for my son to, to go through his books and let me know because he was not able to come in at the same time. And I know it looks like I'm kind of putting those books into millions of different piles, <laughs> but I promise I had a system. I just wanted to sort it so I know which books were to donate, which books were to give to my um, nephew, which books were to, you know, put away on the bookshelves. So there were a few different piles and then, you know, a pile for my son to look through, but I promise there was a system. Um, so it took us probably over an hour to go through all the books, but we definitely made a huge progress as far as just keeping the things that we truly love. And I just wanted to mention that little table that's behind me because as I am editing this video, I am realizing how often we use this table, which is basically every day. I originally, um, the plan was for me to kind of use it when I'm sitting on the couch and using like my planner or need to write something down. And my daughter completely took over that thing and she's using it to, you know, whenever she has a snack and whenever she's coloring in front of the TV or just doing something. Like she uses the thing every day. I have used it for like a party to put some um, food on and clearly now I'm using that as a prop for the cluttering. So let me know in the comments below if you have things like that that you got for one reason and now you ended up using it completely differently in many better ways. I want to bury the hatchet and find a way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not too late. And as I was sorting through all the book clutter, my husband was starting on the painting of the office. So the first job, which takes forever, is taping everything off. So let me know if you guys do that, because I have seen so many people just paint without the tape. 
and I don't know how they do it. I don't know if I never seen a close up to it, but I know it bothers both of us if it's like not exactly, you no, know, there's not a straight line. And we, I don't know, I definitely don't have a steady hand to do it without the tape. So let me know if you use tape when you are painting. <laughs> Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me. And if you are new to my channel and wanted to just quickly introduce myself, my name is Magda. I am a full time working mom. So on my channel, you're gonna see a lot of the cluttering right now because I am going through my entire house and the cluttering every single space and I follow the clutter like a mother routine. I talk about it in my previous videos and I do a lot of videos about just like, you know, organizing and, and home management in general. So this is what we have so far. This is a bag that I'm giving to my nephew with books for like smaller kids and these two I am going to donate to the library. And my husband started painting, so we are matching the paints to the rest of the house, which is gray. And I know it's not an exciting color, but um, I used to be the person who loved a lot of different like colors on the walls. In our previous house, we had, I mean, we had everything. But in this house, um, I don't know, I guess I'm getting older. <laughs> My style has changed, but now I am all about like neutrals. Um, for like, the, especially for like the walls and like main pieces of furniture. And then I like to add color with like decorations so that I can kind of change it up, you know, whether it's from season to season or whether it's just, you know, every few months because I feel like it and I can make changes very easily. So let me know how you are. What are the colors in your house on the walls? Do you go for different kinds of colors or do you stick with beige and grays and whites. Let me know, I'm really curious. Strangers again, again, again Like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again And this is day two after the office has been painted um, I needed to move all this clutter that I had in a living room that I created, you know, by sorting clearly so it's not things that are truly you know trash or anything but um, it was very uncomfortable to have all the stuff laying on the floor but i will tell you guys that this living room space got worse before it got better because the next weekend i decluttered my office closet that the one that you see over there behind the door and i'm gonna give you a little preview um towards the end of this video what's in there but there was so much stuff and I took it out. And like I mentioned, you know, I do work full time and during the week with all the kids activities and stuff like that, there's like literally no time for me to do much. So right now in my house, it's a lot of clutter in the living room because I have to go and sort through that before I put it back in the closet. So um, it's, it's a very uncomfortable feeling when I have my Previously, the cluttered space, just full of clutter that doesn't belong there, but I need to sort it because there's not enough space in my office to keep it there as I'm decluttering. So um, definitely come back next week to see how I am, you know, decluttering my office space and all the stuff that was hidden in that closet, because there is definitely a lot of decluttering motivation there as well. So we were putting the books back and I decided to go with some sort of, a, you know, sorting by color, if you will. Um, I don't know. I was deciding to how to sort it out. I never did that, did it that way. Um, 
So I decided to give it a try and it actually turned out pretty good. So I was happy with the results. Obviously it wasn't, you know, a picture perfect or anything like that, but it actually looked pretty good. I was, I was surprised. And this is the end result over the next um, couple of weeks. I still took out, I think, two or three books from there and donated them. So um, it's kind of interesting, like once you know the clutter, you always have those items that you are not sure of. And I find that the more I declutter, the easier it is for me to kind of go back and see how I actually don't need that book and I can, you know, get rid of it or some other item. So this is the state of my desk. As you see, um, I wanted to clean the desk and start the decluttering. Now I say start the decluttering because by no means I finished. And this is just my desk. So I knew that next day was Monday and I had to start my work week. And I absolutely hate working in a cluttered space, especially my desk, which still tends to get cluttered all the time because yet again, I have too much stuff and I need to truly declutter. So, you know, I was, when I was decluttering my basement, so that was kind of, you know, a really a disastrous space when it comes to clutter. I thought it was the worst and it looked the worst. However, I think as far as like the biggest impact that a cluttered space has for me is probably my office because I spend most of my days in there as I work and clutter is really affecting like the way I work, my productivity, my, me being creative. And I, I was doing fine in this video as far as like, you know, cleaning and getting rid of stuff, organizing a bit. But I will tell you that when I declutter, started decluttering my closet in the office, it really became very overwhelming. Um, there, was, there was just so much stuff. And once I took it out and once, you know, everything is now out in the open for me to declutter, it really became a lot. So in case you are in the same situation, I just want to give you encouragement. You know, we're, we're in this together. We can do it. It's going to take us a while, one step at a time. Um, but it's... It's definitely a journey. So I was at least glad to clean up the desk. What I did was I put everything that I needed to sort through in bins and I put them by my desk. I know this might not be anything that's recommended by anybody, but I, because of my time limitations, I decided to just put everything in a bin and only put the stuff away on my desk or in like later in my closet that actually belonged there. So I not, did not allow myself to put anything back until I sorted through it. So let me know if you ever did that, if that is part of kind of how you declutter as well. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down? So this is what I mean when I put everything in a bin. I literally put everything in a bin. And this is two weeks later, those bins for the most part are still there. I'm gonna sort through the little gray one in a minute. There's just a little bit of the paper clutter that I had from my desk. But now I wanna show you my office closet. This is what we're gonna be working with next week. So it might not look too bad, I don't know, now that I'm looking at it, it still looks bad, but the stuff that was hidden in there, in those bins and drawers and stuff, it's, it was a lot. So 
definitely stay tuned for that. So before the day ended, I wanted to just set it up for me to be ready to work the next day. I don't think I ever explained why we were repainting the office. Uh, we had, as you saw, color green on it. This was originally supposed to be a playroom, which never ended up being a playroom. It ended up being my office. Kids have a playroom directly behind the office space on our kind of, you know, a porch that we have there. Um, so I have been looking forward to having this done for so long. And the reason why we held off on painting for so long, because I mean, it's not that uh, time consuming or expensive or anything that to repaint a room, is because we were installing a door to the office. Because this was originally supposed to be a playroom, there was no door, as you saw at the beginning of this video. So we, I, we, I mean, my husband, he put the door in for me. And because we were putting the door in, we just wanted to you know, wait until you know everything was in so we can paint it and we didn't have to do a lot of touch-ups and stuff so that's why we did it i cannot tell you how happy i was to one have a door so because my husband also works from home um you know we we had some sort of you know a separation so when we have meetings we don't constantly like interrupt each other and the color on the wall, I know it's great and I know it's boring, but I was so happy to have that peaceful space. And I don't know, it might sound silly, but it definitely made a huge difference for me. Please tell me I'm not the only one who has like millions and millions of random cables. So I put the ones I'm not using every day in a Ziploc bag in my closet and just kept everything that I use all the time in that bin. And this is where we are now. At the end of the day, it's no, it looks awesome. It's declared. There is a lot of white space, but of course, keep in mind that all the stuff still needs to be sorted through it. And it's right there behind the desk in those so good looking bins. But that's just real life. Not everything gets done. So I hope you got some motivation out of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. How will you